Well, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today. What's the fuss? Well, today I have for you a wax melt empties in the wax melts. And I also have three candles. And I hope everyone's been doing well. And I'm sorry I haven't been on YouTube for probably about a week and a half. Maybe it is or is it even two weeks? I came down sick with something. I'm not sure exactly what the heck I had, but it was... Um, it had me down. I had hot and cold sweats. I, I couldn't sleep right. I'd be up all night. I'd be trying to lay down the next afternoon for a little bit. And I had a hard time resting. No matter what I did, I couldn't rest right. And even when I was laying down, I'd nod off for 40 minutes an hour and be back up for maybe about 10, 20 minutes and then try to lay down again. I was sick. I was just sick. Um, dealing with, like I said, hot and cold sweats, temperature fluctuating all over the place. Um, I was drinking. I had very little apple to, ap appetite. Oh, God, I can't even speak now again. I had very little appetite, but I was pushing in the beverages. I was pushing in um, hot tea, cold tea, lemonade, some sugary drinks, some electrolyte drinks, fruit juices, it was a mixture, and um, I just wasn't feeling well, it's basically the hot and cold, I think it had to do a lot with the temperatures, nose diving where we were, because as miserable as I was, so was the weather outside, we didn't really get any sun every day, um, before I would try to nod off again in the um, middle afternoons, since I didn't sleep during the night or into the morning, starting all over again. Um, the weather was as miserable as I was. It was constantly cloudy, rainy, windy, howling outside. Um, I kept asking my husband, push up the heat, push up the heat. And I had more than one blanket on me at a time. I just couldn't get my body to stay, you know at a temperature where I wasn't, you know, extremely cold, extremely hot, sweating, freezing. It was a mess. Um, I think I caught um, bad, bad cold is what it was because I don't, um, and I had terrible headaches from it, terrible, terrible headaches. I was pumping in ibuprofen too, so um, I am back to my old self again finally and um be feeling good for maybe about the last three days now and it finally broke and the weather it kind of broke a little bit temperatures came up but we still had the cloudy rainy drizzy weather and today being good friday we finally had sunshine yes and we're supposed to have sunshine tomorrow and sunday so good but next week looks like a lot of rain here again Almost every day, rain, 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 and um, 70, 80, and 100% chances. So, I guess it's better than snow, but people do get sick in this kind of weather. So, anyway, um, I just wanted to let everybody know, in case you do have me up on your TV screen, a large screen, and you're looking at me and watching me, um... When I was sick, I broke out again, right in here. Back in February, my whole upper lip, if you watched my videos, I had a terrible, terrible chap upper lip area. Not just my lips, but all up in here was terribly um, screwed up from the weather. And here, um, it went away by using the O'Keeffe's. But during what was just going on with me here recently... I didn't break out up here again, but I broke out over here. And I have a little scab there, and it's kind of very dark looking. It almost looks like it's black. That's how dark it is. It was a lot worse than this while I was sick. But it's it's healing. It's just about almost gone. That should, you know, fall off eventually here. Um, I start breaking out, and I don't know if it was a fever blister or what it was but the point is that was driving me nuts too anytime I tried to talk it would you know kind of burn when I was stretching my mouth and speaking but kept lathering it up with the O'Keefe's I swear by this stuff 
very, very good. Much better than everyday chapstick, you know, for healing purposes. Chapstick's okay, but it's not the best. This is better. This is the O'Keefe's Lip Repair Lip Balm. You can get a single pack or a double twin pack. Um, I'd even come more than that. I'm not really sure, but I know single and twin. Got this in Walmart. It says all day moisture, and it is with cherry and vitamin E oils. And it, it, it does work. It really helps the healing, and it helps that burn when you're trying to stretch, stretch your face in talking, you know, your mouth area, and you get that burniness. So, yeah, if you have trouble with your lips, you know, whether um, minor or severe, check out some of this O'Keefe's. It's really, really good. So, um, we're going to move along with the empties video. And if you want to pause me right now and get yourself a notepad, a pen, a drink, whatever, so you don't have to keep getting up and down and get your beverage now. Or, like I said, bring a notepad and a pen or a pencil in case you want to jot some of this information down about the empty candles and the ax empty wax melts. Okay, so let me get a sip because I have my Mossy Oak cup here again. And I have a limeade drink inside of this. So let me get a sip myself. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully I'll be okay for a while, but I think it went down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> okay. Um, I do have a lot more um, candles going on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it sh and I've been saying that for some months, but some of them are hard paraffin and they're one wicks and boy, they take a long time to get through even burning them every day for hours every day they don't burn up real quick <clears throat> soy ones yes and paris soys um i i think they burn up fairly quick too but not straight paraffin it takes forever and with one wick it's even worse so i'm working on them and working on them but it's just taking so long with certain ones. So I do have three currently and probably in the next three or so days, I'll probably have maybe five, but that'll be for another empties. And I got other ones that are way above the halfway point. And um, one that's recently newly started about Maybe two days ago, I started the Mainstays Warm Apple Pie Candle. So, yeah, they'll be showing up. It's just I can't rush them. I can't, you know, can't make them go any faster than what they're going. So, we're going to start off with these three candles first, and then we're going to go into wax melts. I just want to see if I'm seeing things here. I must be seeing things. Okay, this one here is the Yankee Candle White Strawberry Bellini Candle. And we do have some soot here that is from the cold air, not from opening and closed door, but I do have a, a draft um, running through my house at times in certain rooms, including this room. Um, the draft comes in here. And, um, yeah, we got a little bit of soy on there. At least it's not really, really bad. You know, you can almost see through that. Um... You can see through the soot part. It's not, you know, blatantly all heavy-duty black like a black magic marker. But anyway, this is the Yankee Candle Strawberry White Bellini. It burnt itself out. And I love this scent. I have a, actually a new one um, going. Not new-new, but um, it's almost about a quarter ways in. But this one here stopped. Now, this here is, um, it, the, the jar here, this, these ringlets is from the wax itself. It's not from nothing I've done. It's just, you know, sometimes the wax itself just makes these rings on the jar. But other than that, it was pretty good. So, um, this I did purchase in the Walmart because I don't go to Yankee Candle stores 
of what ones are open anymore. I don't go to the outlets of which ones that are open still. And I don't order from the website anymore. I just get something in Walmart. So, um, this one here is the 22 ounces. It was poured in 22 because it has it right there. I don't know if my camera's going to pick it up, but it starts with a 22. So, it's a 22 pour. I can still smell from what's in, you know, left in here. Yes, I can crack this out and throw out my warmer, and I might do that. I actually might do that before I ditch the jar all together. Yeah, it's it's strawberries, sugar, orange, a little bit of lemon, a fizzy champagne -y type of a note. It's really, really good and sweet and lovely, and I love this scent. I love it a lot, and it's still available in the Walmarts, because that's where I get mine. And, um, it just smells so good. It, it, it reminds me of something other than a Bellini. It reminds me of something like um, Sweet Tart Candies or something like that, but anyway, yeah. These go for $16.96 or $97 in Walmart. So if you're only looking for like one or two candles or, you know, something that they have and you don't want to be, place a big giant order with Yankee Candle and worry about, you know, spending a certain amount to get free shipping because you're not really getting free shipping yet if you have to spend all that extra money. So you can just go to Walmart and pick one up and that's it. Sometimes Walmart has these on clearance. You have to look, you know, um either on the website at the clearance or in the stores, you'll sometimes see certain brand, um, certain scents by Yank Candle, you know, clearance down and that. Because I got a few. I got them down to like $7, and $7, $8, and $9 off of their original price. So anyway, this here was really, really good. And the scent throw on this, I would say, was at least an 8.5. Yeah. You'll get lucky once in a while. So, yeah, I like this one. I could just sniff it all day long. But, yep, that, that's the Strawberry White Bellini by Yankee Candle. Okay, then, I have this one. This one here is the Mainstay Salted Caramel Butterscotch. It's toffee, vanilla, and butterscotch, 20 ounces. And... Somewhere among all these red numbers in here, how you read this date code is beyond me. But um, to me, somewhere in the middle section after the CL, after the CL, it's a 1, 2, 19, 23, 07, 07. I would say that this was probably poured December 19th of 2023 with those red numbers that go this way. This is the mainstays, and of course, it, it burned clean, you know, clean, but this schmutz here is from the wax itself. Again, making those ringlets on here. It's not for me doing anything um, to it. A tiny little bit of soot, again, you know, from this breeze that comes sometimes through this door um, into this room. I can't smell much in there anymore, but um, this did smell like buttery toffee, buttery, sweet, ooey gooey toffee, caramel, vanilla. It just smelled really, really good when it was going. Now, are these strong? Sometimes it depends on the scent. Sometimes it depends on the batch. This also comes in the wax milk because I've bought many of them already, and... I bought, I think, maybe three or four of these jars, and this would be either my third or fourth one. I bought, you know, spread out, not all at one time. Yeah, I could barely smell it anymore, but when it was going, I would say sometimes it was going a six and a half, sometimes a seven for a little while, and it puttered down, and then, you know, but it is what it is. What are you going to do? So... All candles do that, and all companies, you know, you never know what you're getting. 
until you get it. So, um, yeah, I like this one a lot. But I don't know if I'd purchase it anymore in the in the large candle like this wax melt. Yeah, because it's widely available yet there too. But I don't know. It, it I never know what I want till I go to the store sometimes. We're very rarely do I have um something on my mind to remember when I go there I want to get it. Sometimes I look to see what they have and then I choose from that. So um yeah. This one wasn't, it's good in scent, but the throw, you know, it's it's a gamble like everything else. So, mm -hmm. so if you like butterscotch toffee or caramel, this is a good one. You get a mixture of all three in the, inside this one. Okay, you can, you know, mess around if you want and, you know, freeze that, pop it out, throw it in your warmer. Um, but I can't really smell anything. For me to want to go through that little bit of trouble. So I'm just going to ditch this. It's gone anyway. Won't light no more. This is also from Walmart. This one here was the Mainstays White Almond and Nutmeg. This I got around Christmas time this past year. This was Almond, Nutmeg, and Vanilla. 14 ounce candle. Three wick with these wrap around labels. But they were also textured. These are textured labels. And this had the gold brushed lid on it, not a silver one. And this doesn't have any red numbers and letters going across the bottom um, like these mainstay ones have with the, this. These ones don't. These have a small set of numbers in black, kind of like copying from Yankee Candle right there where my fingernail is right here, right here where I'm tapping. Um, this here... It has six numbers, but I'm not sure how it's read again. It's um, 1, 22, 7, 53. So that doesn't tell me a whole lot since it was for this past Christmas. I don't see anything with a 23 being actual 23. But maybe the three being the last number in there, maybe that's where it would be 23. I don't know. But anyway, this one here, again, it was white almond and nutmeg, and it was almond, nutmeg, and vanilla, 14 ounces. It was three wicks. Didn't have much problems with, I didn't really have any problems with the burn whatsoever. There is a very minute, a little bit amount of soot right around there it's so light but it burned itself all the way down won't light no more it's from this way it might be hard to tell on camera but right where the, my fingernail is right there this tiny little bit is all that is left to the wax on the inside versus what you can see th through the jar with the light it's right just a tiny bit down below the bottom edge of the big square here, it's a little bit past that. So um, that's actually even less than a quarter. But yeah, I really can't smell nothing no more. But it did smell like almond extract. It, it smelled like a little bit of vanilla. It smelled like nutmeg. It smelled like the baking spices other than cinnamon. Um Almost like if you're making almond cookies, something like that, without the cookie crunchy part, just the spices. It wasn't real heavy, and, and the sweetness of the vanilla, it wasn't a heavy scent, was what I'm trying to tell you. It wasn't a woo, that kind of a heavy scent. It was just a um, medium scent, but the throw, it was another story, the throw was... Just under medium. It wasn't super strong. It, I don't think it was supposed to be like that. It wasn't meant to be like that. But yeah, it was nice. And I like I said, I got this around Christmas time. And it, they really stepped up their game by putting these textured wraparound labels on it. And they're so much prettier. They're, they look high-end for being mainstays for Walmart. So yeah, got that one and went through that too. 
Okay, now we're going to get into some of these wax melts here. In no particular order. And there's double triples and whatever else in here. Um, <clears throat> so, we're going to start with this one right here. This is the Sensational Apple Pumpkin Donuts. It says, do not, do not mind if I do. Do not, do not, not do not. Do not mind if I do. Apple Pumpkin Donuts Sensationals 2.5, 6 cubes. This is from a couple years back. I don't know, 4, 5, 6 years, something like that when this came out. And... It does have that bakery donut smell. It has that apple cider, apple smell to it. You smell that bakery cinnamon. You smell a slight cusp of red hot cinnamon. The glaziness, just like they're showing on here, the, how the glaze and the icing is striped on the donuts. And it... It's, sh it's sugary, but then the spices of the cinnamon, both versions of cinnamon. The pastry donut, the, the, that uh, vanilla icing glaziness, sugary. It's warm sweet, warm and sweet, but yet spicy and sweet. And appleish and tiny hit the pumpkin. It's really good. This one throw really good. This is an 8.5 out of 10 on throw. I don't remember where I got this apple donut thing. I don't remember if it was in stores in Walmart or did I get it somewhere else. I don't remember, but more than likely I must have got it in Walmart. So that was that one. All right, this one here was from this past year again, 2023. This was the Sensational Ghoul's Night Out Sparkling Fruits. It had, um, this was part of the Halloween collection and the Day of the Dead where they had it all out at one time. The cubes in this one was pink and this has the pink feathers with the masquerade mask on it. This here smelled of like a strawberry, a good strawberry, not like any of their other strawberry scents that would include Mainstays, Sensational and Better Homes and Gardens. No, this was more like the strawberry that you get for making strawberry um, daiquiris or strawberry pina coladas, strawberry, um, what's the other one I'm trying to think of? Daiquiris, margaritas, okay? It smells like the syrup that you get in the bottle. Whatever brand is your brand, Macari or whatever, that syrup, that's what it smells like in here. It smells like that strawberry preserves, squish strawberry therapy business but there's a, another kind of sweetness in here and there's almost like a not like a candy smell like a candy fruit smell it was really good a little bit of vanilla it was really good i bought loads of these several trips to walmart's and i picked up none of them i still have a few left I'll eventually get around to them um, before next Halloween everything. And I have probably about maybe seven, eight packs of this left. But I went through a lot. And I really like this scent. It was really different and something that they didn't make ever before. Really enjoyed this one. And the throw on this one here was definitely an eight and a half out of ten. I enjoyed it a lot. There's no florals in here that I can smell. Now, it's just sugary, sweet, strawberry, and some other kind of um, fruitiness in there. But no florals, no roses, no peonies, nothing like that. So this was a good one. Maybe they'll even bring it back. That would be good because I wouldn't mind having some more again. Other than what, you know, the few that I have left. Okay, this one is still in Walmart. So it came out for this past um, Christmas time. In the holiday season. This was the mainstays. Um, berry apple marmalade. It's raspberry, cinnamon, and sugar. 
and you do find this still in certain Walmarts. It was also in the 20 ounce single wick jars. From what I remember, I can't remember definitely if it was in the three wick 11.5, but I know it was in the large jars. This smells of, it's a holiday scent. This is not a um, year round scent. This is a holiday scent, but if you don't um, care that it's not the holidays and you want to use it, it that's up to you. Because I do that myself. Whatever floats my boat is what I go with. This has that cinnamon sugar combination mixture when you mix cinnamon sugar together. There's a spiciness in here. It could be a red hot cinnamon, just not a bakery cinnamon. I smell raspberry, but it is not sweet, but it is not tart. It's, it's kind of bittery, a bittery raspberry. I can smell woodiness, like, like, like smoky wood. I smell like that. Um, like um, some kind of evergreen it's not pine it's some kind of evergreen I could just picture the needles and the, and the, on the stems of the branches of an evergreen but this heavy, spicy, Christmas me, Christmas, Christmassy, oh God, people, Christmassy, yeah, it definitely is a heavy scent. Um, throw on this, I would say, was probably about a 7 out of 10, nothing higher, but very heavy on cold throw. Yeah, this is not something you'd want to burn in the summer unless... You know, you're celebrating Christmas in July or something, but, um, or like I said, you just like this because that's your, you know, your jam that you like, you know, these kind of scents all year long. Everybody's different. So, yeah, I use that one up. Then I use this one, another one of these I've bought in plenty. It's still available, but I bought it from the first time I seen it. Um, and I reviewed how many of it melted, how many of it. This is the Mainstays Kiwi Sorbet. This was the Golden Kiwi Mandarin Blossom Sugar Cane. This is this real washed out green color. It is, um, really washed, washed out. It's a very washed out mint green color in the color of the wax. There's hardly any, what you call normal green to it. It's very washed out. This has a sweetness, but not sweet like candy sweet or icing sweet. It just has a sweetness. Sometimes it comes a little off bakery to me for a sorbet. Must be the golden kiwi I'm smelling because I've said many times in my videos, I've never eaten a kiwi in my life, so I don't know what they really taste like. I've had kiwi beverage, you know, strawberry kiwi candy or strawberry kiwi you know, fruit drinks or something like that, but I never actually ate an actual kiwi. Yeah. This is okay as far as the scent goes. It's, you know, nothing wowing, but it's not mm, either. It's okay, but it does throw well. Definitely an 8 out of 10 on throw. Like this one. Okay. This is an oldie. Not too, too old, but, you know, a few years old. This is a Sensational Limited Edition Hideaway Zesty Tangelo and Sea Salt. I love the picture on the label of the walking down to the beach. We got the um, sands there, the beach ahead, uh, the walking, the, you know, the wooden steps walking down to it. Um, you have seagrass and... You have um, things that grow 
you know, around the sand, other than seagrass, other kind of plants and stuff like that. I really like this one. A lot of people have, I've said this many times, a lot of people say that this smells like zest soap. Mm -mm. My husband uses zest soap every day of his life and doesn't smell anything like zest. It does smell beachy, strong, that tangelo-ness, that zestiness of it, and the sea salt. Yeah, you get all of that in here. Definitely get that sea saltiness, that tange zesty tangelo. It's It smells like you're at the beach, but no sunscreens. No sunscreen smell. It also smells like some laundry detergents that replicate, you know, beach ocean scents or even liquid fabric sheets or even dryer sheets that have the beachy scent. Yeah, that's what it smells like, but not zest soap. Mm -mm, way off on the zest soap story. This one is very strong. This is a 10 out of 10 in throw. So be careful if you do use this have in your collection just didn't get to it yet or want to order some or just interested to begin with one cube is more enough and even then this is very strong 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 thrower it's a monster love it i have plenty of those in my stash yet but i see them popping up in the walmarts in the you know the binge got to crawl in the big square where square ones that's on the floor the metal ones not cardboard displays. I see it popping up there again. So check your Walmarts. Okay, this one here used to be in Walmart. Then I started finding it in Ollie's. Not all these. Ollie's outlet store. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Key Lime Cheesecake. It smells exactly like that picture. It smells exactly like it. And I got these at Ollie's. They were $1.49 of so their... Not the Walmart stores anymore, but when it was, I bought plenty. But like I said, I get them in the Ollie's. This is nice and strong, too. On cold throw, it's really strong. It smells exactly like that picture. You smell the key lime filling in the, in the cheesecake. You smell creaminess. You smell actual graham cracker, cracker bottom of a cheesecake. You smell the zesty lime slices to decorate top, and you also get the, not only the creaminess of the cheesecake, you get the creaminess of the whipped cream. Sugary, sweet, zesty, limey, gra graham crackery. It's good. And the throw on this is at least an 8.5 out of 10. I've got plenty of these in my stash. And like I said, when I see them in the Ollie's, when I go there, I always pick this one up. But you can get this um, probably on the website eBay too. Places like that, you know, um, that people, you know, bought stuff up and, you know, retry to sell it. But anyway, yeah, it's really good. It smells just like the genuine key lime pie or key lime Cheesecake pie. It smells just like either of them. And I love Edward's Key Lime Cheesecake. If anybody knows what I'm talking about in the grocery store, hell yeah. Bring that out, defrost it, then take that clear lid off of it and take a good whiff. Hell yeah. That's what this smells like. Okay. Then, whew, I'm getting a spell again. I'm not sick anymore, but I, all of a sudden it just got really hot. Whew. Okay, this one here I just got not so many months ago in Walmart. This was the Yankee Candles um, Cucumber Mint Cooler. It's a fancy drink. 2.6 ounces, you get six of these cylinder cubes in here in a light washed out green, kind of like the mainstays um, kiwi sorbet thing. They're almost the same color, the, the waxes, really washed out greens. Um, this one here, the Cucumber Mint Cooler, Yankee Candle, you can actually make one of these drinks. You have a phone, you have a computer, look it up, it's not hard to make. There's many versions of how this can be made, but it's cool and refreshing, the drink, but so is the scent in the wax melts here. This comes in large jars too, um, in the surfboard 
I call this the surfboard clamshell shape because it looks like a surfboard. And then when it's standing, it looks like a surfboard standing upright in the sand. This is super strong. You don't have to shove this way up under your nose to smell it. Hell no. You open this, this is strong. Oh, it is so clean and refreshing. You get that tonic smell of some kind of tonic in here. You get that zestiness of like fresh lime, fresh lemon, zest. Some sweetness, but not too sweet. You get the mint, like as if you picked fresh mint leaves out of your garden, if you plant mint. It's not candy mint, it's real herby from, you know, the plant itself being the mint. A little bit of the cucumber. Oh, but it is so fresh, refreshing. Love this scent. This is perfect spring, summer, or just if you love fresh scents in general and you just want to use them all year long. This is so clean and refreshing. Strong in here and a good thrower. Yes, believe it or not, this actually throws. Like some other things throw from Yankee, but a majority of things, they're not as strong as they used to be. But anyway, this is. This is a good thrower. It is room filling. It is a traveler. But it is super clean, refreshing. And, and all you think about is that drink. Yeah. That beverage right there. Called um, Cucumber Mint Cooler. Which has lemon lime because they're showing it in there. And then there's actual long strips of cucumber cut. Launches the lemon and lime circles that you cut from them. But long pieces of cucumber, not circle cucumber, but you could do it however you want. I'm just saying what the label has. But that's it. And it smells so freaking good. Oh, it's so, 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 so good. And it throws very well, like I said. And um, definitely 9 out of 10 on throw on this. Definitely. Eight and a half, nine and a half. Very good. It doesn't matter what kind of warmer you stick it in. Tea light. Old hot plate. It doesn't make a difference. This is so good. I got to get me another pack or two of this when I go into the Walmart again. This is very good. Very, very good. Okay. Oh. Then I have this one, which is still available. This is the Luminescence from Walmart by Candle Warmers. This is Paris at Night. Romantic blend of sparkling champagne and berries. And these do not stay together on the bottom. They're two separate pieces. This has a berry scent, but not the way you would think, like sweet berries or cupcake berries or berries that are just freshly picked berries or berries that um, appear like in a, a, a berry smoothie. It's some other kind of berries that is not um, per, more perfumey like, perfumey berries kind of a scent. And there's something else in here that's real sharp. It might be the champagne. This, to me, I did not care for. It did not throw that well. It was pink, but really don't care for it. To me, it smells like a perfumey champagne berry type of scent that you would find in bar soap. That's what it comes off to me. Not appealing in any way. Did throw about a two. You can smell in here, but it didn't throw right. It, there's soy wax, all soy. And now yeah, it was nauseating, so I won't pick this one up no more. Okay, then we have another luminescent scent from Candle Warmers found in Walmart. This is Beach Time. This is Tranquil Waters and Warm Sands. See, it says soy wax melts. It's all soy. There's nothing. It's just pure soy. And it is a nice label on that one. We got the water, then we got the blue sands, then we got um, 
dark pink sands, lighter pink sands, right up to white pink sands, and two people sitting right there on the white sands. Um, this one here also doesn't stay together, does not stay together in any way. This one here is a little stronger. I mean, this you smell without a problem, this Paris thing in on cold throw. This is even stronger on cold throw. I don't smell anything watery, but I do smell perfumey florals, like sweet pea, possibly honeysickle. It's very floral for being um, beach time. It's not aquatic in any way. It's very florally, but it's a strong one. And this one here, on throw, hot throw, when it's warmed, this one here bumps up to about a seven and a half. Sometimes even just catching an eight. Depends on, you know, how recent it was poured or if it was poured right. This here, very florally. Again, this is some kind of a scent you would find in a bar soap. Um... That is like the French milled bar fragrance. Let me try that again. French milled soap. You know how they put all those perfumey, fragrancy, floral things in it? That's what you'd find this in. This is not even a laundry essence either. It, it, it is um, bar soapy smell. Um, heavy florals. Okay? And fancy soaps, as they call them. Okay, this one here I've reviewed a number of times and used it. Will not be buying anymore. I've had my fill of it already now. This is the Sensational Celeste. This is citrus, coconut, and vanilla with the butterfly and the kaleidoscopy type of a look to this. And it's in a light blue when you get it. And it is in the floral category. And it is florally. I don't smell coconut. It's candy coconut or even raw coconut. I don't smell coconut. I do smell a citrus. Not straight out orange, not straight out lemon, not straight out lime. It's like a combination of a citrusy smell. A sweetness kind of coming off a little bit like a fake cotton candy. But very perfumey at the same end. Very, very perfumey. Um, could be that vanilla, that it is a floral vanilla and not a candy vanilla or a vanilla extract. No, it's like a floral vanilla, vanilla from the orchids. This is super strong. This is a 10 plus plus when throwing. One cube is more enough. Two will choke you the Christ out. Unless you like extremely extra heavy. But, yeah, this is strong, and I've had enough of it. I don't need any more of this one. Very, very strong. Definitely worth your money. The, you know, the money that you pay for it. So, um, doesn't fail. It's just way too strong for me. Way too perfumey also. Um, Better Home Signorians, Pink Fig and Spruce. This is when they had the eight cubes in the pack story with these kind of a labels. And this was a Christmas one, Pink Fig and Spruce, highly scented premium wax blend. It was Pink Fig, Blood Orange, Holly Berry, Peppercorn, Allspice, Nutmeg, Birchwood, and Spruce. 3.5 ounces. I had a number of these ones. And it smells like a Christmas tree, a real Christmas tree. Or it smells like the trees out in the woods. <laughs> you know. Again, some perfumey this. I do smell like that holly berry business. It is definitely Christmassy. It has that true Christmassy vibe. Um, you know, greenery, trees, holly berry, no cranberry. Um woodiness 
the whole story. This one was strong in here. It's all gone, but it's super strong. Still in this clamshell where there's no wax mark. It's still very strong here. This one was another one. It threw a 10 plus plus. Yep, very, very strong. It smells nice because it's a combination. It's just not straight up Christmas tree. No, all that other stuff makes it, rounds it out more. Um, gives you a variety. So it was really good. That one was very, very good in scent as well as um, throw. Throw was excellent. 10 plus plus. Okay, this one is still around since when Walmart started wax melts and candles moons ago. This here is the mainstays hazelnut cream. This is the wax melt in it. This is hazelnut, caramel, and vanilla. It smells exactly like a hazelnut coffee with a lot of sugar, vanilla -ish, and cream inside of it. Has a little bit of that nuttiness that hazelnut gives off. Definitely smell that caramel. Definitely smell cream. Cream that you put in, not milk. Cream in your coffee. Yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. Perfect anytime, especially in the morning um, or after supper, maybe when you're um, kicked back and you might have um, a pot of coffee on the back of the stove. I know people are in the day of, you know, everything hurry in a can, everything hurry with a Keurig, um, single Keurig cups and this and cups and every all that other business i know that but there are still some people and you know the electric coffee makers you know mr coffee and proctor silex and this that i understand that but there are still people that um like to put an actual old coffee percolator put the coffee in it add the water and stick it on the back of your stove and they do that before they go to bed or they do it um, when they're sitting watching TV after supper time. And then they do it first thing in the mornings again. Yeah, I'm talking about the old coffee maker, okay? And you have that permeating smell, you know, going um, through your home. That's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of that. This is a good one. The throw on this is an 8.5 for me. Love this one. And, of course, it comes in the wax melts. It comes in the large 20-ounce single wick. It comes in um, 3 wick 11.5 ounce. And it also comes in when it, when they do special um, shapes, like 14 ounces, like this 3 wick wraparound labels or some kind of like This one... Here, the hazelnut cream, they've done a lot of different versions with this. Even a tall, single wick, um, colorized frosted glass jars with the gold lids on. Everything and anything. Hazelnut, they'll never get rid of this. It's been in here for a long time, and it's not going anywhere. People love this scent. Okay, then we have Sensation with Hello Gorgeous. This is um, Vanilla Rose and Pink Pear. And we got another one of the butterfly stories flying around like the Celeste one was. Only the butterflies was a little bigger. There's the Celeste with the butterflies and then the Hello Gorgeous. And, of course, two different colors. The blues. And this is like the um, orangey, reds, pinky, peachy combo, combos. And we got the clouds here just like the other one. But there's those butterflies again. But this one here... It came out at the same time. This one is also a perfumey scent, just like the Celeste. I do smell in here. I do smell rose. I smell some kind of tanginess, like, I don't know, grapefruit or something in here. So it's fruity, sweet, but florally all at the same time. It's another perfume scent. Um... Perfume scent, body spray scent, um, just the same as the Celeste. They're almost in the same vein, except a lot of what's in here is also in here. But this is a kick-me-up 
This is um, kick me up two notches more than this one. But they're both very strong. Both of them, you only need one cube. Powerhouse scents. Very, very powerhouse-like. Yeah. But definitely perfume body spray um, vibe. Okay, then... This one here I've used many, talked about so many times, but pulled some more out. Still widely available in Walmart. This is the Better Home Cigars. Um, vanilla Cherry Swirl. Cherry Vanilla Buttercream Sugar King. This is a very good one. Last, this throws really good. Definitely get that cherry. And to me, it always smells like a cherry tobacco that you put in a pipe. It's a heavy... Heavy cherry syrupy type of a smell, almost tobacco like, like I'm telling you. There's a lot of other stuff in here, it's just kind of warm smelling, too. It has a warm, there's a cream in here, a warm cream smell, very sugary. Love it, does good by itself. Great mixer with other stuff. All kinds of different things you can mix this with. Truly, truly love this scent. It is not your typical cherry. It is not your typical black cherry. It is a syrupy, heavy ch cherry that I'm trying to tell you that you would find in pipe tobacco smell. Not the tobacco itself, my, the, cher the very heavy cherryness of, that's in pipe tobacco. Love this one. Always does good. Throws well. Definitely. A 9 out of 10 on throw on this one. Definitely. Mm, so warm. Has that warm smell to it. Okay, then we have this cherry scent. This came out moons ago, people. Moons ago. This was the mainstay's cherry pie. This was when they... Some of them were in the soft soy wax. And then they started changing them slowly to a parasoy the wax cubes but this came out moons ago many moons ago um probably about 15 years ago that's how long ago this was but this here was the mainstays cherry pie um 1.25 the, the package does have yellowing to it as you see right there i'm trying to Slowly turn it enough for you to catch it. It is definitely stained in yellow. I still have probably about 75 packs of this. No bullshit. Just in a box dedicated to this scent from Michael's Craft Store with the decorative boxes. The scent is still super strong in here for that long. It definitely smells like cherry and pie. And you get the pie crust smell. Tiny little bit of a perfuminess to it. But it smells a lot like, I'm going to say what I say all the time in my videos whenever this one pops up again. This smells a lot like back in the day when this came out. But before this came out, about a year or so before this came out, this smells identical to Bath & Body Works Temptation Line. Where they came out with cherry pie, pumpkin pie, banana something. Um, there was a number of temptation treats that had the body wash the lotion, the bubble bath, and the body sprays to the scents. The cherry pie one, it smells just like this wax melt. They were identical. Identical. And like I said, probably have about 75 packs that is still left. I bought tons of it. Well over 100 some packs. Well over 100 some packs. I used quite a bit of it. And then... I stopped just so I can get other things, you know, melted at that time and through the years up. But I keep coming back to this every now and then in the back room where it's in this box. Um, I keep pulling them out. But that's a long time to have these wax melts. But I stored them to the best of my ability in a nice, cool, dry place. And that's what made them last so long. Because they're not scentless in any way. Hell no. This is when they did things right. And the scent stayed. Today... You might get something that scented up really, really good and throws really, really good. And then you might get them, you know, the everyday. And then you get the waste of money bullshit. So, but no, this is the day when I did things 
really good, the companies. They loaded them up with lots of fragrance. But this is a very good one. Okay, then we have this one that came out last year sometime. I think it was last spring and summer this one came out. This was the Sensational Hawaiian Blossom. This is Sweet Pomelo and Sunkissed Tierra Flower from Sensationals in Walmart. And this one here was strong. It still is in here. It's very strong. I guess that's that Tierra flower. Super duper freaking strong. Astringent like in a little bit. Soapy like those fancy soaps I'm talking about. Fancy bar soaps that are triple milled and they're loaded up with heavy florals. That's what this smells like. It is so super freaking strong that when this was melting, one cube was even still too much. A half a cube was too much. This sucker is even out does Better Homes and Gardens Orange Buttercream Cupcake. And that is a monster of a scent. This one is just an outright freaking beast. It's a, it, 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 it's, <laughs> It's nauseating for how strong this is. It is irritating to the nose for how strong this is. It is a hell of a lot stronger than even orange buttercream cupcake. So bad. Oh, my God. You just pop it and keep it away from your face, and you can smell it. It is super duper freaking strong. Oh. There's another scent in here. That I'm trying to remember. It, 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 there has to be honeysickle in this too. It is super duper freaking strong. I can't take it. I'm, I, I, I actually had to throw it away. It is just too much. I had one cube in the warmer. And not even in five minutes. The whole freaking room and beyond the room. Was stinking up of this fragrance. Too, too bad. I had to shut it off. Air the windows. Open the windows and air the room out. Everything. Way too much. I threw it away. I had to throw it away. I couldn't deal with it. Whew. Man. It smelled like 20 floor, florist shops all at one time. That's how bad it is. So, um, pretty sure this is still out somewhere. And I'm sure you can check the website for it. And, of course, eBay and those places if you're really interested. Me? No, thank you. I bought one back. It only went back. And I couldn't even get through it. I had to toss it in the garbage. Too freaking strong. Too florally. Too overly sweet. Florally sweetness. Just too much. Oh, my God. My nose is even starting to irritate from it. Like I said. They irritate my, my... Up in my nostril. It's like tingling and burning. Because it's that bad. For me, anyway. Maybe other people, they love it. I don't judge nobody. Everybody has their own taste. So, I'm um, just talking about the wax melt, in my personal opinion. So, this is the Huntington Homes from Aldi's. This is the Key Lime, Key Lime Pie Cake Pop. It had the three different scents. And you got four pieces of each one of the three scents. This one here was the... Key West Key Lime Crumble Cake White Chocolate Frosting. This one did good. I bought like an entire section and beyond when this came out. I bought a lot of this. Still have a few lingering. Just like when the At the Fair one came out that had watermelon, va vanilla coconut cone, and I can't remember what the other scent was. Um, in, the, in another trio set. But yeah, this was really good. I have a few left. This came out like two summers ago. Yeah, you get that key lime smell over here. You get that cake pop smell here. And you definitely get like that white chocolate smell. And a little bit... You get a zestiness from the lime. The key lime. But you also get a tiny little smidge of like a bakery cinnamon in here. To, I guess put into the cake pop area, you know, make the cake a little, um, 
warm and just not just sweet vanilla. Yeah, like a little bit of cinnamon to, you know, kick the cake, mix up with some. Very good, throws good. Any combinations you want to put it in, no combinations you want to put it in, whatever way. Very, very good. They need to bring the scent back. Candle, wax melts, whatever, and make sure they keep the same. Make sure they keep the same um, strength of these. Don't take out fragrance because then they ain't going to throw right. Do them exactly the way they did for this and everything will be fine and everyone will be happy, including myself. Yeah. No, it doesn't smell like cheesecake. It smells like cake. Like they're saying, cake pop. This one was really good. Throw on this with eight, eight and a half at times out of ten. Really like it. Okay, then I'll do one more. And my lights are going down. Um, the sunlight outside is going down. It's getting a little too dark that I need to turn on a lamp. So I'm going to have to pause this video. But I'll do one more so I can get up and do that. Because um, I can't even see just with the lighting off of the phone. It's getting too dark for my eyes. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Locust and Pearl, which is still available. This is ozone green, not meaning trees meaning green, plant meaning green. Um, fresh fruits, jasmine, lily, and musk. This isn't a light mint green a soft, light mint green, not a um, St. Patrick's Day mint green color. Not that. More softer. And this one, too. It reminds me of the scent. Body wash, body lotion, fancy, you know, fancy soaps that, you know, you give somebody, to, you know, and they might use them to take a bath with. Or they might just stick those little tiny fancy soap, perfume soaps. They might stick them in their um, dresser drawers and use them as sachets in a way to keep their underwear drawer and their lingerie wear, you know, fragrance stuff. Yeah, this is another strong one. It has that aquatic wateriness to it. You can smell that aquatic wateriness, dewiness, like after a rain and you got the dew. Definitely can smell the florals, sweet florals, like they're saying. Um, what is it here again? Jasmine, lily, sweet florals. Definitely get that green, fresh Plants smell like fresh house plants that are in a greenery, and you smell that green from it. Definitely get the musk. There's a creaminess in here, but it is um, fresh but florally at the same time. And it is a strong one. Yeah, this is another strong. One cube would do you for hours on end if you continuously keep using your warmer or just enough to permeate the room, shut the warmer off, and let it just linger because <laughs> it'd be like you use a air, air, aerosol fragrance spray for a room. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, super-duper strong. Definitely worth its money's worth again. You know, whether you're paying $2 or $2.22 for it, it is definitely super strong the floral ones always are yeah super duper strong and you can still find this in walmart stores from when it first originally came out and then it made its return kind of in a combination box with other fragrances they just recently came out with a, maybe about three months ago so it's still available but it is strong yeah but clean clean do clean freshness Dewiness, but yet florally. Yeah, super strong. So, that's it for right now. Um, Just let me pause this, and then I got to get up and turn the lights on, and I'll get back to you, okay? So, if you need to go get an, uh, a refill or on your beverage or your snacks or both, this would be the time to do it. This is an intermission. Okay, I'll be right back very soon, people.